this is Ryan from the Cutting Room Floor Brewery, and I just wanted to post a short video about extracts. So extracts are a really cool thing to add to your brewing process. So the um, main reason to use extracts is that it's a super concentrated flavor, and you can just add a little bit, and you don't have to like you know cut up a bunch of oranges or apples or a bunch throw a bunch of cocoa nibs, which you can totally do that. But with extract, you don't have to worry about that. You can just drop a couple ounces in and be done. No mess, easy peasy. So I don't use extracts a ton, but when I do, I usually use them um, to enhance flavor. So what I mean by that is, say if I'm going to um, keg off some beer and the, you know, the flavor is just not quite popping, like I have this strawberry here. I did a beer with some strawberries and the strawberry was really there, but it wasn't like, you know, as, extreme as I wanted, like I wanted a little more intensity to the strawberry. So a great way to pop that instead of adding more, a bunch more strawberries is to just add a little bit of extract and what that does is that's going to bring, enhance all those natural strawberry flavor already in the beer and it's just going to bring it to the forefront. So that's what I usually use extracts for. And also when you're kegging and sometimes yeah you just want to freshen up the flavor, you drop a lid on the bottom of the keg, and then you keg and then boom you have that fresh you know, fresh, nice flavor, whatever you're going for. So that's the way I usually use extracts. A lot of people use them as well. Like I said, if you don't want to cut up a bunch of fruit in your secondary or, you know, you just don't want to deal with the, the hassle or the mess, extracts are a great way to go because you just drop in a little couple of ounces and you've got that flavor. I will warn you that some taste a little more artificial than others, so you got to watch out for that. And you got to work on your ratios because a little goes a long way. So. Um, you don't want to throw too much in there and you want to get like an artificial like Jolly Rancher kind of taste to your beer. So um, they come in a total, you know, a lot of varieties. Like this one here is um, a little uh, more diluted, more liquid um, based uh, extract. And then you've got some like these which are like uh, more like a puree or a, a slurry. And then you have, these are like extremely concentrated uh, liquid extracts that you put just like an ounce and you're good you don't have to go very far and you also can use store-bought so I will say one thing about store-bought is that um, if you're gonna go get this at the grocery store make sure you check the label and see that it says um, made with alcohol or water because there are a few baking um, extracts out there that are oil based and you don't want to use oil in a beer so because it's not soluble and it's going to give your beer this oily, slick feeling on your tongue, and you just don't want that. So um, just double check if you're going to use store-bought. Also, you can make your own, which is what I like to do, because um, I like to know what's going into my beer. So if I make it myself, I know it's natural, and I know where it's coming from. Some of these have additives that I don't necessarily like. So what I did is um, that tree beer I made, um, out of tree leaves, I actually steeped some more leaves and I saved the the tree leaf tea basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, pour some of this um, this tea into a pot and I'm just going to crank it up to a boil. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just boiling off the water and reducing it down to like um, a syrup so I can throw it in the keg just to give a nice fresh tea leaf flavor to the beer. Um, the other way to do it is with alcohol. So this is actually the more common way is, so say you have a bunch of cranberries or oranges or strawberries or some kind of, any kind of fresh fruit. So what you do is you cut that up and you soak it in alcohol, um, vodka. You want a neutral spirit, nothing with flavor like whiskey or anything. Although you could try it, but um, I would stick with vodka, a very neutral spirit. You soak it in the fruit or whatever um, you want to make an extract out of and you let the um, let it sit for a few days in the fridge and what's going to happen is those flavors are going to get pulled out by the alcohol and you know basically it's like an infusion like if you ever had an infused vodka it's the same principle but instead of drinking that um, you're going to boil it so you can um, you take the fruit out or whatever I mean you can eat it if you want but it's going to get you a little messed up and then you take that um, alcohol that's left over and you throw it in a pot and you boil it. Um, the cool thing about alcohol is that it boils at a, a lower temperature than water so it evaporates faster. I will warn you though, 
when you are boiling using alcohol, you're going to get the evaporated alcohol. It's going to um, start to exhaust in the air, and you, you make want to make sure you have ventilation because if you're breathing that in, you're going to absorb the alcohol straight in your bloodstream, and that can mess you up too. But, um, yeah, those, those are some fun ways to use um, extracts, and I highly recommend it if you don't want to do the hassle of chopping up a bunch of fruit or whatever additive you want to add to your secondary. And they're great for enhancing natural flavors. Thanks for watching.